Hey everybody, so this is a video for how to build the quintuple octahedron. Now the first thing you're going to need are some stacked rings. Um, you need 24 stacked rings of 10 magnets, but I'm not going to need those till later, so I'll set them aside. Um, again, 24 stacked rings of, this time, 22 magnets per ring. And again, I'm going to set those aside for now. And you also need 24 uh, stacked rings of 34 magnets per ring. I set all those aside because I don't need them till later. Uh, you also need 48 stacked rings of 8 magnets. Um, and let's see, you need 16 stacked rings of 12 magnets. You need um, 24 of these pieces. And I've built 23 of them, so I'll show you how to make the 24th. You take two stacked rings of uh, 24, flatten them out into a long straight piece, and then you also take uh, four stacked rings of 11, and you take those and you just cut them up into two circles and you can flatten them out into long straight pieces. And you want to be careful with these because the uh, point magnets are on the opposite sides, so you don't want to like flip them around a lot or else you get the polarity screwed up. Now what you do is you just take a chain of magnets and on the underside of this it should have a center uh, row, I guess. And you can go ahead and take out those middle two magnets. So I just took out those middle two, just like that. And then you want to take these two shorter long straight pieces and remove the point off, just like that. And you want to do that to both of them. And then, and this is the tricky part, you take this and you kind of let it bend to about this point. And while you're holding that there, you take this and attach it to kind of these four magnets here. Just like that. And now you do the same thing with this one on the other side. And now this is really, really unstable at this point, so you don't want to bend it around too much. What you do is you take a chain of magnets and you're going to put one in between, uh, like so this magnet and that magnet, you're going to put one between there and then you're going to do the same thing on all four sides. So it'll look like that. And then, finally, you want to take four more magnets and uh, attach them to those, not like that, but like that, and it'll pop in there, and that's how you get these pieces. And again, you need 24 of them. So now what you do to start assembling this thing is, um, you take these uh, 16 stacked rings of 12 and you cut them up into stacks of two and you take each one of those short stacks and you pinch the uh, top of it into a triangle like this. And you go ahead and do that and you make eight of these pieces out of this. Okay, now that you have eight of those, you take them and attach them together just like that. And you want to add four of them together until you get here, and then kind of bend them until those ones touch. And you make an exact copy of this with these other ones.
then you add it down on top of the other one. And so you end up with this. And now the edges of this aren't arranged quite correctly. So what you want to do to fix it is you kind of want to just put uh, four fingers here and kind of pinch it until it does that. It'll look like that once you pinch it. And then you want to do to this corner what you just did to these, which is to add four magnets, then take a little square and add it down on top like that. And you want to do that to all six corners of this piece. And that's how you build the first octahedral layer. Uh, now what you want to do, before you get any farther, is the second layer is going to be made up of six of these, but the way you built them is actually uh, the edges are too long for the second layer. So on six of these, you want to just take two magnets off of every uh, leg of these corner pieces so that they look like this. And you want to make six of these into that. Okay, and now that you have six of those, you want to take 12 of these uh, rings of eight magnets that you have from earlier and cut them up into six uh, stacks of two. And then what you want to do with them, let me see if I can show it, is add them down on top of this corner. And you want them to fit just like that. And then you can push them down until they kind of sit down a little bit firmer. And then what you want to do is take it and pinch these four magnets until it does that. And you want to do that to all six corners of this first layer. Okay, and now that you're here, you want to take these corner pieces and just kind of place them down on top of that. It can be a little bit tricky, but just get them to go down like that. And, oh, that came unpinched. And then when you get a second one, you want to kind of attach these corners together just like that. And then that adds down like that. And you want to do that to all the rest of them and complete the second layer. And there you go, you're up to layer two. Um, and now it starts to get a little bit more complicated at layer three. But the first thing you want to do is uh, take three more of these uh, corner supports and add them on to the top three corners and pinch them down. And remember, you're only doing the top three for now. Just It's a weight issue. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is take these 24 stacked rings of 10 magnets that I mentioned earlier 
and cut them up into long straight pieces. And you should have 12 of those pieces. So now what you want to do is put these corners down the same way that you did with layer 2. And you'll notice that they're not touching. And that's what these are for. They allow you to come in and connect the corners together just like that. And the reason that I use pieces like this is because um, as the layers get larger and larger, you could just make the corners larger and larger, but it's hard to put them down onto the supports correctly if they're very big. So it's easier to just put small ones down and then connect them after they're already down. So you want to put this one on and connect it up. And then after this is all connected, you're going to flip it onto that completed triangular face. And then you're going to put the last of these three supports on and uh, finish up the third layer. Okay, and that's three layers. Now, for layer four, you want to use uh, these stacked rings of 22, and but and uh, you're going to use those as the uh, connector pieces, and they'll be a bit longer. But other than that, it's the exact same as what you just did for layer three. So go ahead and do layer four. And that's layer four. And for layer five, again, exact same thing, except now you're using stacked rings of 34 magnets to make the uh, connections between corners. And there you go. That is how you build the quintuple octahedron. And you know, as far as these big shapes go, it's pretty durable. You can pick it up, move it around. Um, I mean, don't handle it too roughly or it will fall apart, but you know, it's, you can move it around and pick it up and stuff. Um, six layers just uh, adds too much weight though, and it crumbles at six. Um, but there you go. That's how you build it. I guess I'll smash it now.